Are we good? Okay, cool. Hey everybody, it's Stormy Iris, and welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy 2. Last, oh, excuse me, last time, um, we continued here through World 6, we got both Clockwork Ruins Galaxy done, and we got Flash Black Galaxy done. This time, we're gonna be jumping right into, right back into World 6, with more, with, uh, Slimy Spring Galaxy. So, um, as we're nearing the end, I want to say, thank you guys a lot for supporting this series, um, as a whole. I plan to do Mario Galaxy 2 for a very long time. Yeah, I'm not kidding. I plan to do Mario Galaxy 2 since I first got my Elgato. It, yeah, that's a very long time away. That was like, oh, that was so long ago. Actually, I think this is, I think this is a secret level? No, because the secret level is the chimp. This is the other opportunity that we can get the chimp for. Oh no! You can only get two! Okay, so we got two lives so far. Um. I'd imagine it'd be like this. Yeah, that's really nice. We got three one ups from that. I don't know exactly what the other rewards are. I believe there's like a different patterns you can go. I kind of just chose a good one. I just went with a diagonal. So it's kind of like a tic tac toe kind of thing. Okay. The extra star for this uh, mission is Keys. Okay, so at this point, I really want to thank you guys for the support on the series so far. I mean, we're almost done the main story. We are nowhere near done the end of the game. We have so much more to go with Mario Galaxy 2. Um, like I said, I had managed. To, I you are just being a dick. Okay. Um, I had man. I wanted to do Mario Galaxy 2 for a very long while. Um, but because I just never remembered to, and I just didn't think to, or that I would just do a series, or I would start a new series, and then, a, like, a game that I've been expecting would come out, and then would have prohibited me from actually continuing, or actually just starting Mario Galaxy 2 as a whole. Um, so that would be why I wasn't able to start Mario Galaxy 2 on, until now, because Link's Awakening, uh, the remake had come out, um, and then on top of that, Luigi's Mansion 3 had come out. Um, so that kind of hurt me in a nutshell, and, and now that I've done all the new games, there's no new games this year, um, yeah, I was really, whoa, 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 okay, you can kind of twist and turn around, just for better maneuverability, if you do need to turn around, you can do that, um, but I had planned to do Mario Galaxy 2 since, uh, last year about? Well, of course, I had planned it since I got my Elgato, so I could actually play through the game better. But overall, I had just planned to do Mario Galaxy 2 since last year. And because a whole lot of other stuff just came up, I wasn't able to start that. Um, I, I shall please. Thank you. Uh, oh, no. I'm going to take damage. Because there's no... Uh, you really have to do this all in a single air. Actually, no. There's air right here. Alright. Um, but yeah. And I had planned to do Mario Galaxy 2 for a very long while. Now, because I didn't... Uh, like, I feel really bad because I just really wanted to do this Let's Play for a very long while. Oh, oh I missed the Goomba. Um, I just... I don't know. I I feel really bad, but I feel really good that I waited because... Now that I'm just a lot better with editing and a lot better with a lot of other things... I feel like now would have been the appropriate time to do Mario Galaxy 2. Um... I mean, I feel bad about waiting so long, but I also don't. I feel like now would have been the perfect time to do it because, I mean, we're almost in the end of the decade, and it would be really nice to be able to start, uh, play through Mario Galaxy 2 again before the end of the decade. Um, but you know, it's oh no, oh no, oh 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 no. Um, okay, so you can swim. Um, you can't do this. You can't shake the Wii remote. Um, hopefully. There's a rhythm to it. Um, oh no, they, ch they nerfed it in this game, actually. And oh, do I need a shell for this? I think I do. I think you need to make it all the way to the end with a shell. You do. You do need to make it all the way to the end. No, you don't, actually. They gave you one. Okay, I was gonna say. Um, yeah. Um, I think now would have been the perfect time to do this. I mean, Mario Galaxy 2 is not gonna be done. Before the end of 20, uh, 2019. I, I know that for sure. Uh, Mario Galaxy 2 is going to finish out in um, 2020. 
is a really good way to start up, uh, end off 2019 and to go into 2020 with Mario Galaxy 2. Um, he's just like, hey, I got myself trapped. I saw a shiny. I got trapped in the box, and I have a star. Cool. Um, I think it's a really good way to end off 2019 and then also go into 2020. Um, I mean, I do realize that I could have done Mario Galaxy 2 a whole lot earlier and just felt like a lot better. Um, and the fact that I'm also starting with Galaxy 2 upon, uh, instead of Galaxy 1, I don't feel overly bad about it. I really don't because, um, I just, uh, as much as, like, I love Mario Galaxy 1, I just, I just found Mario Galaxy 2 better. And, uh, oh no. <laughs> Alright, so we have two Prankster Comets. Um... Depending on how things finish with World 6, we might knock those out. Is there a secret level for this one? No. Okay. Yes. This is- that is the end of World 6. Um, we don't want to go there yet. As... Cold Magic as this ending is, World 6 is kind of short, actually. Um, upon just trying to figure out where things are, um, it's just a really cool world in general. Get ready for nostalgia! We're going to Throwback Galaxy. Really big nostalgia trip here. If you, anybody who's uh, played the first 3D Mario game, the return of the Womp King. Let's get started. Um, yeah, this is an entire recreation of Super Mario 64, um, the uh, Womp Fortress. But there's actually a twist here that I want to talk about. Um, we're not going to be able to see it exactly. Hey! This is the first point. Hey, you guy with the stash, you came along just in time. Would you do me a favor and get that star back from the Womp King on top of the hill? Um, actually, this is not the first thing. Um, so you can already tell that this is a faithful recreation. That it's not just some, you know, unti uh, Unity, uh, Unity Engine just recreation of a Super Mario 64 remake. No. This is an entire faithful recreation of, um, Super Mario 64. Now, there is actually a really cool twist. This is not exact replica of Super Mario 64. Well, it is, but it's also not. Um, if you come up here, uh, of course, all the tricks remain the same, it's just in Super Mario Galaxy 2 style. Um, yeah, if you look up here, Mario has been here before. This isn't actually a recreation, this isn't the same thing. This is a sequel to the Womp Fortress. Uh, which is also hence why the title is Return of the Womp King instead of just uh, the top of uh, the Womp King Fortress or whatever that you pop and pop atop the fortress. Yeah, this is an intense uh, or this is an already um, faithful recreation. The the blast cannon wall is already gone. Mario had already blasted the wall um, in his first visit, um, which is really cool. If you never noticed that, well now you do. And um, also a really cool thing. I just want to take my time with this one. Um, you come down here, this is where the cannon used to be. Really cool thing here. It's no longer, it's no longer the cannon, instead it's a sling star. Um, which also signifies that Mario had been here before, and also had, um, uh, cleansed his area of the evil kind of thing. I mean, there's only one boss in this area, but, um, it's really cool, and I like this design. Although I wasn't the biggest fan of Super Mario 64, I like this, and I think it's a very faithful recreation. Um, I also got to look for the Comet Metal, too, um, because I definitely do need to pick that up. Uh, actually, I think it's over here. Wait, no. I know. Okay, I know where it is. All right, um, so that's really cool, and I don't see a lot of games do this. Um, I'm pretty sure the Comet Metal is over here. You climb up top of this, you climb all the way up here. I'm sure this is where the Comet Metal is. No, actually, it's, um, where that is. Um, well, cool, I suppose I can just, no, maybe I can't. Uh, right, um, give me a second here where I try to remember where the hell the Comet Metal is. If anything, I think it'd be where the, uh, shoot where the Wild Cannon thing was for that mission. And indeed, I was right. Okay, it just... There's a couple of these missions I don't exactly remember. God, that would have been embarrassing if I died there. Um, but yeah, this is a, such a cool, uh, uh, really cool recreation. Now, okay, here we go. Speedrunners, uh, come up here. 
Uh, okay, no, am I not doing it right? No, I don't think I'm doing this right, actually. No, am I not doing this right? No. In tens of slopes, um, speedrunners will actually, um, uh, will actually do this really cool. Um, actually, I think this is just too sl steep a slope, so I wouldn't be able to do it. Um, so speedrunners are able to manip- are uh, just be able to do a huge exploit in the game. Which would be, um, uh, what am I trying to talk about here? Uh, you're actually able to go, um, beneath the slope. Or just be able to backflip up on the slope. Also, this is actually not a slide. Oh, yes it is. Yes it is. Oh, that's a slide. Oh, that's a slide. Um, well, shoot. I remembered you being able to walk on that. Hey, but I guess not. Okay. I always remembered you being able to walk on that. Um, because in the original game, you weren't able to. But in this version, I thought you could. And again, I could just also be just doing this wrong. Because, um, yeah, it's me. Uh, but yeah, it's also just really cool in general. Alright, so there's actually a really cool trick here. Oh, this is the guy! This is the Bomb Bomb Buddy. Okay, now you gotta, you gotta be a little bit far away. Really cool trick here to get up there really quickly. Um, now, I used to be a speedrunner for Super Mario 64 16 star. You look sort of familiar, Stash Man. How are you doing? Uh, you're pretty, a pretty, a really pretty star landed here, but it's at the top of the hill with the Mock King. Um, okay, so, actually progressing with the story and the mission of, uh, the story's mission. Or the mission's story, jeez, the story, the story's mission, okay. Um, yeah, so it's just really cool. Now, okay, like I said, I wasn't the biggest fan of Mario 64, and I don't proclaim to be. Um, also, this, this kind of thing here. Like, what the hell are you doing? Okay, can I reposition the camera here? Uh, no. So there is a thing you can do here, if you do it right, yes, you can entirely skip a lot of this level if you do that uh, trick. Of course, it's not from, it's nothing too, um, it's nothing too unknown, a lot of speedrunning, it's like a really cool speedrunning trick in the game. Also, we just have this swamp here, um, uh, please don't crush me. Okay, gotta come up here, and we're gonna stop him. We're gonna turn into the star bits, and here we go. And unlike the original game, uh, unlike Super Mario 64, this is our, you already know this is a sequel because this is an entire, under the entire island, or the entire island, um, underneath the, um, underneath the galaxy, which is really cool. It makes me so mad. We build your houses, your castles, we pave your roads, and you still walk all over us. Do you ever say thank you? No! Well, we're not gonna wipe your, well, you're not gonna wipe your feet on me. I think I'll crush you just for the fun. Do you have a problem with that? Just try to ground pound the Womp King, ha! So, actually, there's actually a really cool thing you can do in this fight. Um, if you die uh, while fighting the Womp King, um, you can actually, um, you can actually get a secret thing. Oh, actually, he's gonna get these little, these little wimps. Uh, he's actually gonna get these wimps here. Um, yeah, he can actually, if you actually re- if you come back into this fight, if you die, um, okay, I'm just gonna jump off here before I go sliding off and, and inevitably die. Um, yeah. It is super cool. Okay, so he's just gonna do that. Whoa, buddy. I really want, would like you to slow down. Um, okay, come up here and finish the fight. Really cool fight, in general. No! Crushed again! I'm just a stepping stone after all. I won't growl or grovel. Okay, you wait. Here, take this with you. Uh, try to go away! Dang it. Poof. Race into a star. If you die and then come back into this fight, um, he'll actually, he'll actually say, screw it, I don't want to talk, I'm just gonna fight you. He'll actually skip his dialogue and say, because he's sick of having to repeat himself, because he doesn't want to repeat himself, so you just jump right into the fight. I think that's a really cool touch. But, anyway, we're going to bring back a little friend with us, and I know exactly what this one is. We've got 40 Comet Medals. Got some star bits, 225, 1,116 coins. You can now advance, but of course there's a second start of this level. Of this galaxy. Hey, oh, what are you doing bringing hazardous uh, materials aboard? And hey, his little bomb bomb buddy. You better make sure that he stays calm. I don't want an angry bomb bomb on this ship. Yeah, the bomb bomb buddy, he's friendly. Um, so he's not gonna blow up your ship, lover. Um, 
but yeah. Really cool. Really the fact that he just gets so sick of his own dialogue that he's just like, okay, I'm, I'm not even gonna talk, I'm just gonna fight you, so. Really cool. Um, so. Going back into Throwback Galaxy. With the second mission! Yay! Second mission in an already cool level. Um, so Silver Star is in the Womp Fortress. Now, um, Silver Stars really didn't get their debut until, like, Super Mario 64 DS. And, um, the fact that this is already another throwback. That is so cool. Um, because, of course, Super Mario 64 DS was a, um, was a, um, uh, bruh. Was kind of like a reco- uh, kind of like a, uh, a reimagining of Super Mario 64, but just on the DS platform, which is extra stuff. Hey, Stash Man, thank you to you. Um, this place is beautiful again. I scattered some Silver Stars around here just for you. Go ahead, go ahead and grab them. All right, so we do have a Silver Stars mission here. Um, much like the original. I think the original was actually just red coins, though, at the original Super Mario 64. I don't remember exactly if that was still the case with Super Mario 64. Yes. Um, but yeah, it's really, really cool. Um, I also have the cloud suit here, which is also really cool. I'm just gonna back up out of here just so I don't get stuck under there. Oh, I did collect the, um, the, what you call it there? Um, helmet medals, so I don't have to worry about that. There we go. I don't know exactly if the helmet medal is available in this specific mission, but we already have three of the, um, the silver stars, so it's not a very long level by any means. Actually, we're about to find out. No, it's not there, so you wouldn't be able to get it in this mission if you wanted to. This is a really cool touch, just so that, you know, I mean, it also just still proves that they're still in the one mission alone. Um, anyway, can I come up here? Uh, please let me shake my thing so I can just not have to worry about that. No? Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna spin up here. I'm gonna spin up here. Oh, whoa, I don't have any more, uh, clouds. Well, that's a problem. Um, okay, so we're just gonna have to go around anywhere. We're just gonna have to lose the power up. Um, yeah. So it's a really cool mission. Um, not much else left to say. I mean, we're progressing really well into it. Um, oh, whoa, slow down there, buddy. Slow down. <laughs> okay, really cool. Um, yeah, there's just not a lot else to say. And it also does keep our reimagining of the, of, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I don't have a cloud, I don't have a cloud flower. Uh, all right, yeah. Oh, we should probably get that. Okay, bad platforming on my part. Let's try that again. And it also is a um, another just faithful recreation of the music in general. It's really cool. Also, I'm surprised I didn't get hit by that Goomba there, but I mean, I'll take it. I'd rather not get hit. Also, you can just walk across this, like in the original game. But he put the Piranha Plant instant sleeping. He's just sitting there waiting. Um, all right, gonna collect this. I'm um, gonna come over here. All right, gonna walk across this. This should be a silver star. Oh, it's right here. Okay. You don't need the, uh, just make cloud there. Pretty simple. Come over here. Do that. Gonna long jump across here. Get across here. We pair them as they are guarding the last silver star, but even then, they don't home to you. They don't attack you or anything. So, yeah. Really cool, nonetheless. And with that, we already have the star. So, oh, we are. Oh, wow, okay. Um. Alright, really cool. And we're gonna get under here and just create a star. Or create a cloud. Really cool. Have our cloud right below us. Yeah, and poof. Cool guys, don't look at explosions. Alright. We've gotten a lot of progress done so far. And, um, yeah. Actually, I think this is... We'll unlock the next level. And I think that's where we're gonna end it off. Just because, just how I want to do things, uh, just so that, you know, the next, uh, couple episodes, or, like, the next, the, not the next episode, but the episode after isn't, like, super short, or just super long. Actually, I don't think it will be super short. But anyway, the next time on Super Mario Galaxy 2, we're heading off to Battle Belt Galaxy. And we're gonna be kind of grabbing some, uh, some Comet Medals along the way, alright? Or Comet Star.